Hey guys, so today I'm making a Betty Crocker impossible French pie, apple pie, and I um, just wanted to bring you along. It's probably one that you may not have ever tried. It's kind of like a custardy filling and it has a crumble on top also. So, um, so far I've got, whoopsies. Some um, apples sliced and peeled, and I've got one more left to do. So, just gonna you can use whatever apples you like. This is just happens to be the ones I got from the farm, and I'm gonna make them a pie also to take when I go back to get some more mums for my front porch. So personally, I prefer to use uh, Golden Delicious apples, but um, these these are Jonathan's, and I tasted it. It actually has kind of like a, a little bit of a bitter taste to it. <clears throat> Got my handy dandy pampered chef for a slicer. And then I know this is a time when I need to have a compost pile. I understand. <laughs> but I'm just gonna slice these in half again because. They're not very uh, thin as I would like them to be. And then I just put them in my pie pans. I'm making two smaller ones so that they can have one whole one and we can have a small one too. <laughs> All right. So, get these done. <clears throat> And then we're going to season them with one and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and um, one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So let me get that stuff ready and I will bring you back. All right, so I've got the apples ready and it calls for one quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So I'm going to try to divvy this out between the two pie plates evenly. If you're making one, it should be a lot easier. I'm just going to add a smidge more. And then one and a quarter teaspoon of the ground cinnamon. Cinnamon. Get a little extra or a little less, it's okay. It's up to your taste. All right, and then I'm just gonna try to incorporate this as little messily as possible. Okay, this is ours, the smaller one, and then this will be for the farm that I go to frequently to get fresh produce and now they have moms and boards to decorate your porch with. Alright, so there's that. Then, in the bowl, it calls for, so it calls for Bisquick, but, um, my Bisquick is expired. I really don't like it anyway. And so I'm using my new favorite Cracker Barrel Biscuit Mix. So we'll hope that that works. <laughs> but it has basically the same ingredients. So it calls for half a cup, half a cup of this. You can use Bisquick or this. I'll let you know how it turns out. Half a cup and then one full cup 
cup of sugar, I'm using organic, one quarter cup uh, or one third cup of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of softened butter, which I just put in the microwave for about like 10 seconds. And this guy's is a blending fork, which works really well. Sorry, there's a big glob of butter on there, but let me adjust this quickly. There we go. And um, it really works well to incorporate stuff. Even like when you're frying things, like when I fry okra breaded, it's great to like just pull out with letting the oil drip off the bottom. All right, then once you have the sugar, the biscuit, and the butter mostly incorporated, then you want to add your eggs, two eggs. what kind. I'm using 1% organic milk and uh, hold on while I fix this. Okay guys, so I've got that mostly mixed and it's just going to be like a runny kind of pancake mixture. So you pour this over the pies over the apples and that's going to bake up like an egg kind of custardy filling it's really really yummy I'm trying to evenly distribute the two of these streusel topping. Try to get those all kind of wet in the custardy filling and it will, you know, with the egg and the baking powder that's in the mix, it will bake up and firm up. So, let me get the uh, stuff for the topping, streusel topping. I'll be right back. Okay, so now for the topping, the streusel, and don't tell anybody, but I put the brown sugar in the mixture of the pie that I wasn't supposed to, that was supposed to be for the streusel, so I might be a little extra sweet, but the apples were really bitter, so it'll be all right. So first we're gonna have a cup of the bisquick or whatever kind of biscuit mix you want. There's a cup. Now the one third cup of brown sugar, and I'm going a little bit less so it's not as bad. So sweet. Now you want a firm um, butter, and you want three tablespoons. So I'm just going to chop that up to smaller pieces and put it in. All right. And 
then you're going to cut that in and work it together. And then after I've done that, I'll bring you back. So that's what the blending fork is really good for. Be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the consistency you want. You want it to be a little bit like kind of pea chunky. And then you're just going to sprinkle it over your pies or pie because you'll probably only be baking one. You just get that in there and then you can smooth it out over the sides after the top is already like in the middle. You can just spread it out kind of like icing. All right, I'm gonna get these into a 325 degree oven. And Okay guys, so I'm taking it out. It's been in a 325 degree oven for about an hour and here it is. And I've already taken the other one out. So there it is guys and I've already given my daughter's boyfriend a piece of the apple pie but um, in the streusel you can also put nuts if you like but I prefer it without so I did have a taste of it already and it's good even with the brown sugar so take care God bless bye